Hey, what's going on everyone? It is Disconcur here. Thanks for checking out my first replay video from the X5 monthly brawls in June. Uh, this tournament does also feed into or seed into the uh, WCS series here in Australia. So it is the ANZ regional qualifier as well. It's a really big tournament. A lot of teams really um, just coming out of the woodworks to really try and secure their place. And uh, hopefully, maybe, get into the uh, qualifiers for BlizzCon. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with these teams, eh? As to the WCS series. And this is, in this game, we'll have on the blue side, we have the Grey Knights. Playing on the Grey Knights team, we have ETC as Pjor, Thrall as Apocalypse, Tyrael as Eldorath, Brightwing as Big Nose, and Valor as Yeoman Sam. On the red team, we have Victorious Secret. And we have Seth T playing as Jaina, a Snake Boy as Numberak. Be right back, T break on Illidan, Cast Down on Bubble King, and a Red Wolf as Uther. Uh, looks like we're going to have a single lane Tasta, Bubble King, uh, going down that bottom lane. Uh, not sure exactly what um, Grey Knight's plan is just at the moment, but we definitely look like we're going to definitely have four heroes from um, Victoria's Secret at that top lane then. Gonna wait for these. Early lane pressure. This is the Haunted Mines object. It's a two-lane map, and effectively, every now and then, the mines, a lower level to the map, will open, where teams will have to collect skulls. There's a total of 100 skulls up for collection, and the team, and um, at the end of collecting those skulls, uh, teams will summon a powerful Grave Golem. Go and ooh, and go and um, attack their enemies. Keep. Obviously, the more skulls you collect, the more powerful your Golem is. Uh, we got a little bit of um, yeah, Victoria's Secret here in the top lane, doing a little bit of an early push, not too much aggression for the moment. Um, Snake Boy and Uberak taking the extended spikes at level 1 talent, increasing the range of his impale. Uh, will be effective getting to those um, heroes in the back line. Uh, see what makes up here. There is a little bit of fighting going off in the top lane at the moment. Uh, if will anything to come of it, will one team try and dive in? Oh, ETC does go in, does do his um, pushback. However, oh, Thrall being catched by the sending spikes. Uther throwing in his own stun. Will he be? Yes, Thrall taken down. Victoria's Secret um, capitalizing on the mistake of Thrall stepping into their lines. Um, oh, it looks like we do have a de disconnect from Tassadar. Oh, no, he's back in straight away, however. Just a small disconnect. Um, very bad mistake on Thrall's part, however. Stepping into the enemy just a little bit too deep. Getting caught in the stun from... Or getting caught in spikes. Impaled, I should say, from Nubrak. And then getting caught by the stun from Uther as well. Uh, hopefully Apocalypse will try to play a bit more of a cautious game. Seeing that that is a possibility of um, Victoria's Secret versus the Grey Knights. Is that if any of their heroes are caught out of place, there is a tremendous amount of CC. They can pull up on uh, Spikes going down. Oh, is Illidan going to get... Uh, sorry, is Tyrael going to get caught this time? Illidan going for the dive. The Blizzard coming down. However, Tyrael does make it off. However, the mines have opened. And a low health Tyrael is definitely not a good situation. Oh no, ETC Thrall and is that Tyrael as well? Oh no, not Tyrael, but oh, Thrall's going to get caught in the in the trap. Victoria's Secret setting up a little bit of a trap down below. Um, nearly catching ETC off guard. I think also Brightwing was one of the contenders that went down there. But Thrall being the one sacrificed to the Victoria's Secret uh, killing machine. Um, just giving, giving Victoria's Secret a great advantage in the, in the mines now. We're going to be able to collect skulls le with less fear from, um, from Grey Knights on having that extra DPS in the mines to really help them push anything. Um, oh, we do have Valor trying to push a little bit of an agenda at the moment, but not really achieving anything. It's been the oh, Nubarak is being caught, however, how but he will survive, will get away. Uther comes down with the heals, throws the stun on Valor, and Victoria's Secret will back up from it. Engagement with basically unscathed, really. Um, however, Grey Knights are pushing them away from the, from the Grave Golem in the mine. Uh, Grey Knights have engaged, however, Victoria's Secret deciding that a 62 scale Golem will be fine for the first summon has gone back up to the top. And we're probably going to see a little bit of lane, lane push, a little bit of lane presence. And then we're going to see an early capture or capture from them with their Bruiser Camp. This is actually really smart play here by Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret, sorry. I should say right now, they're going for the mercenaries on the map as opposed to trying to get those final 30 skulls. Um, we are looking at 38 skulls, the blue team, 62 the red team. It's a pretty decent sized golem they're going to have right now with 62 skulls. So they, don't, they don't need to waste time finding 
that golem down the bottom. It's only going to give him an extra 30. And they're going to capture the bruises, which is going to add a lot of pressure in lane from this. That Grey Knights are going to have to deal with while the Grey Knights are dealing with this. You can see Victoria's Secret, Victoria's Secret come over here and pick up these siege camps. Now, actually, this is really smart what um, Victoria's Secret is doing right now. Seth T hasn't captured those giants yet. It looks like he's going to wait for the enemy golem to get a little bit closer to his line. So when the go when the giants are summoned, sorry, are captured, they actually fight inside the fortifications as opposed to outside. Uh, just giving a little bit of security, being a little bit safe against the golem and any um, grey knight push. However, all the grey knights do have to be in the top lane to, to defend against this 62 skull golem. Yeah, that's going to make it a little bit difficult now for either team to get through to do anything. Uh, oh, we do have a Roots getting, Grey Knights getting caught by the Golem's Roots. Uh, they are backing up. Illidan diving onto Apocalypse, but Apocalypse scroll running back. Now uh, we're going to just see a little bit of fighting going on. A little bit of dancing around each other. Oh, the extended spikes go out. This impale on, what is it, ETC and Brightwing. Oh, nearly being taken down. Oh, Apocalypse getting caught! Oh, the body block and the um, dive from Illidan capturing Thrall at the top. ETC will now run away himself, but will get caught in the, in the impale. Two, two heroes down for Grey Knights. Oh no, this golem's going to be massive. material and then also falling. I'm trying to explode on Victoria's Secret. He's doing massive, did, did a massive amount of damage, but to real no avail. Has not halted this onslaught at all. Uh, Thrall and ETC are now back in the fight. Brightwing being, oh, is Brightwing going to get caught through the gate? No, he does back off. Does he? Oh, this could be a dangerous situation for Victoria's Secret. However, it's not at all. They do walk away fine from it. Uh, Golem will... Oh, that that 62 Golem. Such um, such mileage on it. Getting through to the keep. The Grey Knight's keep already. Um, that was a great push, great fight, great engagement. That was just um, in Victoria's Secret all around, just in, in their favor. Um, and giving them effectively a one level lead now. It's actually going to be very um, handy for them because it means that we'll probably get to level 10 first. And this means they're going to have their heroics to use against the Grey Knights, particularly when the mines reopen in about a minute, I mean, in about a minute and a half time from now. So we're going to see they are pushing. Oh, another Victoria Secret has decided to back up from here. I uh, don't feel like they need to push the matter right now. want to keep their lead. They are going to go back. Uh, Jane are going back for. Oh, Bit of health and bit of mana. Um, oh, but oh, Thrall and Tyrell here in a little bit of a bad situation. Uh, they they did try and retreat. However, they are going to get caught in this. Get the stuns coming out from Uther. Nubrak doing his spikes. Uh, Tyrell getting away, but oh, Thrall being chased down by Jaina. Uh, we'll see what happens. What comes to this uh, frostbolt? I don't think quite hit, but it doesn't matter because the extent this impale from a Nubrak stunning Thrall. And being taken out by Jaina and Tassadar. Uh, that is a huge little affair for, um, for Victoria's Secret at the moment. Looking at those, we got zero kills for Grey Knight, six kills. So we do have a dominating presence on the moment. Valor also being caught by the Uther Illidan combo. Those stuns and dives are just um, hard to deal with. Uh, do we have a little bit of an. Ooh, Jaina pushing back. Uh, Basically pushing back the current surviving members of the Grey Knights. Uh, didn't want the Grey Knights didn't want to take the engage. And don't know if that was a it was a smart idea because it means they weren't getting taken by the backup or the reinforcements of the red team. Now the mines are going to open in five seconds, and we do have we do have the red team Victoria Secret already going out to get a foothold, get those juicy skulls from these from these um. I know, zombies <laughs> down in the caves. Um, oh, hang on, we do have Grey Knights. ETC getting caught out a little, a little bit. He does run around the team, doesn't get blocked in. Uh, Tyrael, however, is going to be in a little bit of detriment. Brightwing getting stunned by the spikes. Uh, Valor being chased by Illidan, but Illidan's fine and going back. Oh, hang on, oh, Pedro just survived, just managed to get out. Uh, but however, Tyrael being taken out by Illidan, Nubarak, and Uther um, does try and bomb someone to no detriment. Tastar just missing out on the explosive fort. Uh, oh, we did have a little bit of Illidan and Jaina falling up. Falling up on this little um, valley here. They can sense Doom for her, and she's taken out. Uh, Valor was not prepared for that for assault. And Thrall was also taken out in the conflict as well. 
right wing now, trying to survive. Can Big Nose make it to the surface? Oh, I don't think it's actually going to help her, even if she does make it, because we do have Illidan, the Betrayer, falling up nicely behind her. And dive, dive, cleave, it's gone for a right wing. That was a massive pickup for um, Victoria's Secret there in the mines. They're going to pick up this golem now, an extra 30 skulls, giving them about like a 71, 72 skull golem. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a, that was just massive. It's um, it's kept their lead. They only have a two-level lead now against the Grey Knights. Uh, they're going to have quite a huge golem to um, for for them to deal with. Um, however, we do see we do see Grey Knights picking up the Bruiser camp. They're going to start working on the golem on their siege giants now. It's going to take a little bit of pressure off them. We're going to have to see Victoria's Secret respond to this. They can't leave this unchecked. This could potentially. Uh, reduce the lead that they've um, that they've <laughs> secured for themselves, and they will have to deal with this golem. It's only a 29 scale golem, but it still is enough. It's easily going to take out probably that fort and that tower as well. Uh, this fortification probably will be taken out from that if they don't respond to it. And you can see they're going to respond to the presence in the top lane first, and then come down and take down that golem in the bottom lane. And then we have the Grey Knights also dealing with the massive 71 scale golem. It is going to be huge. I, I doubt it will be able to take out that keep, but it, it's going to just put so much pressure on that top lane. The Grey Knight's going to have to be really careful not to um, uh, not to lose it just in, a, in an onshoring battle, an onsuing battle. Sorry, um, getting distracted, getting that that lane so weak uh, that we will probably we could possibly see that fort just put uh, sorry that keep just pushed over by um, natural waves. It seems my God. All right, so we have Victoria's Secret now following up the defense against against Grey Knight's Golem with their own Sea Giant and Minion Force. Uh, this fort, this yeah, fort here will probably go down. Oh, we do have Ballard to pick at them. Uh, ETC going for the slide. We're going to see a burst. Drop down the Mosh Pit. Only really great new rack. Oh, new rack. All the damage being put on new rack is fallen. Throw does throw down the Sundering that pushes back Victoria's Secret. Uh, however, the Divine Storm does come on Uther. Oh, we got a lot of chase going on here. E uh, Grey Knight's very low on health. E sorry, Tyrael falls now. The bomb goes off, but it's not enough to kill anyone. Uh, we've, oh, we got oh, Apocalypse on low health as well. Thrall being taken out by a sh auto attack from Tassadar. Uh, Jaina being chased by Valor, but not enough. Uh, Brightwing coming to the sorry, Tassadar coming to the rescue with the shield. Uh, ETC trying to escape, get away, and also being taken out as well. Brightwing. Brightwing is the only surviving member on Grey Knights at the moment, and he's there's no way he, she will be enough to um, oh, to stop this massive push in the bottom lane, just increasing the gap that Victoria's Secret have already gained for themselves. Um, this is just, just another massive encounter, a massive fight for um, Victoria's Secret here. And that, I mean, for for a second, there, losing a Nuvarax, so losing their strong stun, stun character could possibly be in detriment in that fight there. And Thrall actually probably put a really good Sundering out there, blocking the rest of Victoria's Secret off coming off to actually help. However, it just wasn't enough. The level difference was so great that Grey Knights just couldn't dish out enough damage. And in turn, the damage coming from Victoria's Secret just really drove that nail home. Um, taking out all of them, so we do have the mines opening in a moment. Uh, Victoria's Secret will go down to the mines. Uh, we'll see Grey Knights falling off. Hey, what's happening here, actually? Oh, I think there's going to be an ambush here. Valor's throwing down. Stun coming down from Uther, but the spikes and everything falling on Valor. She was duped into the mines by Uther. Um, and yeah, Victoria's Secret just then pounced on her, taking her out. Uh, this is going to be another trouble for Grey Knights. Down one DPS in the mines is a bad situation. They're going to they're going to collect those harvest those skulls very easily. Oh, we do have Illidan dive now on Thrall going to the Metamorph. This set spike going on to ETC. Um, and then we do have... Ooh, do we have any items coming out? No, but we have ETC doing the mosh pit, trying to hold Illidan in place. However, it's been the link of their face, false hold as Thrall does eventually fall to the reinforcements from Victoria's Secret. Brightwing falling as well, and ETC himself! Oh, that could possibly spell the game right there. This is going to... I think I've think i said it before, and I've, already, and I've said it again, and then I'm going to have to say it for a third time. This is going to be a third massive golem for um, Victoria's Secret here. This is going to be like, what, 92 skulls? Is that right? 92 skull golem. We haven't even hit the 16 minute mark yet, or 15 minute mark yet. Oh, this is going to be huge. Grey Knights, all the good Grey Knights are alive at the moment. Valor going there for the sneaky little tower kill. Good thing to take, it means that the golem is going to have a 
little bit of an extra life bar. It is only eight skulls in size for the Grey Knights. It's going to be a little bit problematic. Um, however, however... Oh, hang on, what's going on here, folks? ETC has been caught while trying to capture the Bruiser camp. And he's going to be taken out, just died by everyone on the uh, Victor Victorious Secrets team. Um, Siege Giants have been caught, but at, at this point I don't think it's going to do much. Um, even the lane pressure it could could surmount to is nothing compared to this 92 skull golem and a full Victorious Secret entourage of three levels higher pushing down. Uh, we will see the tower go in the base. Valor and ETC actually already been taken out somewhere in a fight. Uh, did not even catch that going on. Uh, dived in, we're going to see. <laughs> we're going to see Tyrio taken out as this metamorphosis comes in from Illidan. Um, it's, it's just a... It is such a bad situation for the Grey Knights now. I don't think that there is nothing they can do from this position. Losing Valor and ETC so early in this initial push. Um, and then Tyrio being taken out, they just got none of their really front line. Um, Thrall, oh, sorry, ETC nearly been taken out in a soaring fight. But the core does fall. And that is game one taken for uh, Victoria's Secret. Uh, we will be moving on to game two now. Will the Grey Knights be able to come back? Will they be able to tie the series and have to go to full three games? I don't know. We'll find out in the next match. Grey Knights. How, how good was that game? I mean, uh, Victoria's Secret was just so strong. They just dominated so hard. Uh, had really good ambushes in the mines. Uh, some interesting talent choices taken for them. However, it paid off. I mean, that, that was just really good. The um, the, the extra reach on Jaina, uh, securing him that kill in the in late stages of the game. So that's just a um, really good game to watch on um, a Victoria Secret side. Grey Knights, hopefully they'll be able to come away from this. They are the first loss, so it is a big, you know, big damper for them for their first game. However, they do get to choose the next map. So hopefully they'll make, you know, the decisions they'll make really uh, give them an advantage in the next game. And they might be able to bring the series back to um, a full three. But we'll see what happens. We'll see uh, Victoria's Secret obviously winning to advance into the uh, round two of this tournament. And um, Grey Knights fighting to stay in the winner's bracket. So let's get into the second game and see what can happen. Wow. Grey Knights versus Victoria's Secret. Uh, we will be playing on the Sky Temple map. And we will see if um, Grey Knights will be able to take this game, win this game, and keep themselves in the winner bracket. Or if Victoria's Secret will be able to take the win and knock them down. So on the blue team, which is Grey Knights, we do have ETC being played by Pedro. We have Savannah being played by Apocalypse. Jaina is Eldrath, Illidan on Big Nose. And Mufarian being played by Yeoman Sam. On the red team, which is Victoria's Secret, we have Uther being played by Red Wolf. Kelthus as Seth T, and Nubarak on Snake Boy. Tassadar as Bubble King, oh sorry, Ta Bubble King as Tassadar. And be right back, T Break as Valor. So we are starting. Looks like there is several pings going down from each team to try and take the center vision on the map. So we'll see if this turns into a bit of a confrontation. Um, but again, pings going flash flash. Nubrak was the first to get there. But um, oh, actually, stuns all about on ETC. Um, is he going to be able to start run away from this? He does. Uh, Taz start getting a little bit auto attack on. Nothing will take him out. Just look at those tier 1 talents, and we do see level 1 talents, and we do see that ECC did take the block. Uh, interesting choice, however it did, you know, help in this situation. Normally we do see a power slide build on ETC. However, block was the right option, so another early assault on... Oh, Malfurion is going to get taken out! The um, Borrow and, and Impale from uh, Nubarak, keeping him locked down, then the stun followed up from Red Wolf, and then be right back T break, just uh, sitting there for the damage. Uh, Jaina on uh, Grey Knights, Eldorath is going to have to play a little bit safe now uh, for that early, against that early aggression. They are by themselves. You see ETC and Illidan sitting in. Oh, did I say Illidan right on the other team? Yeah, I think I did. Oops. <laughs> I'm not sure if I said announced him or not. Um, right, well actually, Illidan grabbing the vision up, up to the center there. Uh, shrine, sorry, temples will spawn. So if you guys are unfamiliar with the objectives on this map, we do have every periodically a set of temples will spawn. There's three temples, and they have random configurations and assortments. Uh, when these temples spawn, you capture them, and they shoot like that. Hang on, we got an engagement going on here. Uh, ooh, it looks like Jaina might have been a little bit of a problem in there. However, oh, Malfurion being caught out of position. 
Uh, is we going to see any stuns from Nivirac? Uh, no, choosing not to. Stun going on Illidan instead. Keep his damage low. Uh, and Grey Knight's having to back out from that fight there. Victoria's Secret taking that uh, quite convincingly. No heroes falling, however. So Grey Knight did play it safe. Um, we saw in the first game that the Grey Knights did fail to take a lot of engagement. So it's... Um, see them probably going to be... Well, maybe playing a bit more defensively. Uh, each team has split. We're seeing Grey Knights taking the center temple. And then Victoria's Secret taking the top temple here. Uh, interesting, we do have Jaina going down to the bottom bottom lane there, just trying to soak a little bit more experience for the Grey Knights, try and get that level advantage or catch up a little bit from the first um, first kill on. From the first kill il earlier. And we're just going to see the temples. Each, each side taking the temple, getting about a neutral response on each of their lanes. The top lane taking a bit of damage, and then mid lane also taking some damage as well. Alright, Sylvanas in that bottom lane against Tassadar. Just as so that we still got the Illidan ETC in the middle and Malfurion up the top by himself. Oh, we do have the Victorious, uh, some of the Victorious Seekers going up to capture that top bruise camp. Uh, it's probably going to put, uh, that will push a little bit of pressure in the top lane. Um, we're going to have to see Grey Knights rotate a couple of heroes up the top to really deal with this, especially if they do push, especially if Victorious Seekers do decide to push behind it. Um, grabbing, Uther going to grab the vision, giving him early warning if Grey Knights do rotate up. Uh, we do have ETC and Illidan, however, refusing to rotate to the top lane. Valor is going to take the, sorry, Jaina is going to take the vision, and she's going to come up with Malfurion to do with that root camp. So, but while this is going on, however, we can see Victoria's Secret here moving in, coming to the center lane there, Nubarak. Uther and Sethi on Keltis. Oh, stun does go on ETC, but no engagements, playing it safe. Now overextending for a kill that they may or may not have been able to have um, got. We should see another another temple. Temple at the bottom spawning soon. But no team at the moment having a significant lead over the top of each other. However, behind the temple spawning, it looks like we are going to have Victoria's Secret here capturing up those siege giants. Go bottom lane. Uh, actually, I didn't realize that. Grey Knights had already caught some of their Siege Giants earlier. So, Vic Sec or Victoria's Secret will have to sort of deal with that. But then they're going to have their own Giants come up behind us as well, turning the tables on the Grey Knights. Um, it was a good capture by them, but maybe a bit early, premature. Oh, and look at this, the temple, the bottom temple is now going to spawn. And Grey Knights are in a bit of a tough position here. They're going to have those two Giants just knocking on their um, fortifications. And they're going to have to sort of deal with that just as the temple spawns, or they're going to have to give up on it. Uh, they are choosing to sort of deal with it, then run down. But however, this has given Victoria Secret a little bit more time to get into position. Oh, and there we go, the stuns go down, the extended fight's going down, the stuns, the stuns from Uther, and the AoE from Kel is just being too much, overtaking ETC. Uh, Savannah is low, he's going to have to back up there. Oh, Valor's going to, oh no, Valor does manage to survive, how was that? Low health died by Illidan! But somehow Uther managing to keep her up without the um, level 10 talents. And Grey Knights will just fall in abundance. Oh, that was that was a mess. I thought Valor was gone for, um, was seriously taking us to be right back T-break. I don't know that to be be right back dead. But managed to vault away Uther. Also managed to get the heal on her. Great play by Red Wolf there. Um, uh, that was just... That was just an awesome positioning, and that just gave Victoria's Secret such a, such a huge advantage here. And not only are they going to capture the, the uh, temple and get all the laser shots from it, um, they're still getting a bit of a le level lead. They're going to hit level 10 again. They actually might hit level 10 during this boss fight. Oh, we're going to have Illidan actually out of position, getting hammered down again. Not dying, managing to survive this time. Uh, Uther is going to run away and get the heal. And Nubarak, however, going to be body blocked between the pole and the uh, body, the giant torn body of ETC. Uh, great, great positioning there by um, Pedro on ETC to get that block in. Uh, Nurak is down. However, that, is, that kill is not going to create a, not going to help with their level difference. And we now see Victoria's Secret with their level 10 talents. So we've got the Vine Storm being picked up by Uther. Uh, Phoenix being picked up by Seth T on Keltis. The Locust Swarm being picked up by Nurak. Force Wall. Inter um, interesting choice. You don't. Normally see the Archon coming from Tassadar, however, um, can't remember the player playing him. Uh, Bubble King deciding to take the Force Wall, however, on this map, probably going to try and um, block some escape routes or separate the teams in some later team fights. 
I definitely have a lot of uh, a lot of damage with the Phoenix from Kelthus. That's so probably going to create some really good opportunities. We do have a little bit of engagement happening in the center. Oh, the stun goes out on ETC. Is he going to get away? No, he doesn't. The auto attack scale, the Phoenix, I should say, killing him as he tried to run behind the wall. Um, completely missing that fight <laughs> due to explaining the uh, level 10 talent. And obviously Valor taking straight down there at the bottom. Um, Again, yeah, another great advantage. Um, Grey Knights losing their tank. They're not really able to go in there and take this fight. Um, just because of the damage potential at the moment from the two level difference. It's just going to not be, not, be not be a good position for them at all. Um, they, have, they will get their level 10 talents in a second. And that should even up the games a little bit again. Um, we do see we do see Tathar in the top lane trying to take that experience. But, ooh, are we going to see Sylvanas or Jaina? They're going to go to the Giants. I thought they might have gone down and try the Soak. Temples are now spawning again. All right, what have we got? The Grey Knights looking like they are going to try and secure themselves the bottom temple. Look at this. Interesting from here. Victoria's Secret isn't going to actually go for the... Um, they're not going to neutralize the temple this time. No, they're going to take both of them. You can see what they're going on here. Tastar popping his vision, popping his traits to get a look at where the enemy is. Red Wolf just riding into the center, all brazen like. Very confident in his abilities. He should be able to survive this and run out. Oh, the stun goes off. Um, Illidan, Polymorph, sorry, Metamorphosis. Uther dying, and Nurek about to be next to follow. Ultimates going off left, right, and center for um, Grey Knight. Two ultimates left, but Valor now being chased down by Illidan. Will she fall? Yes, she will. Uh, Tester and Kelsey the only one left alive. Illidan maybe get taken down by this um, Kelsey Tower, being on low health. A new rack. I saw new rack fell. These things appear to be very much alive. They're calling my mistake. On my part there. Um, now Kelsey is trying to take out Illidan. Now going to get caught himself. Tr overextended. Try to take on a weak Illidan. Illidan, however, being too strong for him with um, the evasions and health and life gains. Managed to survive, and then Kelsey is getting trapped between the giants. And the rest of the Grey Knights team. Oh, that was a um, a major major play here by um, well, Victoria's Secret trying to try to be greedy and trying to capture both towers. Ended up ended up losing a portion, losing a good lead, level lead by um, dying, and giving a lot of experience to the Grey Knights. And we possibly m might see the Grey Knights regroup in time to push them off to some um, center temple. Um, looks like there is an engagement, however, on Nurak by uh, Savannah and Illidan. Not going to be able to take it out, but he's going to be pushed back from this fight. Um, Jaina actually being pushed off the um, temple here. Now ETC pops... Oh, no, sorry. Malfurion being pushed as well. ETC, is he going to get caught? Will he manage to run away? Yeah, no, he will not. The uh, flame strike from Kelsey is being too much for him. Now Illidan may be the next to fall. He's got a living bomb on him. And he is, his diamond shield went onto him, but it's going to be no use. And Apocalypse on survive. Can she escape? She is going to escape. However, however, it has not helped them. Uh, it is early on in the game. The levels are low, so Grey Knights will be able to spawn, uh, will spawn back to the fight relatively fast. But it may probably not going to be too... too it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough, tough battle for the Grey Knights right now. Um, they've really got to start focusing on pushing these other lanes down. Doing more present, present, uh, sorry, pressure, I should say. Um, Victoria's Secret here is playing a great game. They, um, they're taking those team fights really well. Even without Nuvarak, their main tank, they're doing a good job of um, keeping the. Oh, sorry, keeping the cool in those fights. Uh, Grey Knights, good, good fight, however, down the bottom there, but. Um, Probably was a little bit too late going for that um, temple. Maybe um, Savanus and Illidan trying to take out that new rack might have been a wrong decision to make there because they didn't have the damage really to um, push them off those temple grounds and should have retrieved a little bit earlier. Um, looks like we're going to have both teams now trying to move on the boss fight. Malfurion falling somewhere between the talking there. The teams all over the map at the moment. Um, Tathdar trying to do a little bit of pressure on Savanus. Get out of the way so that giant can move in a little bit more. Uh, oh, hang on. Grey Knights are going to get caught here. Uh, Ultimate's going out. ETC did, did, did attempt to do his mosh pit, but the stun, the spikes from Anubarak came out, stunned him. And then the slows and slows and other stuns and more damage, and Anubarak himself fell as well. Um, again, just being caught out of, just being caught. They're not backing off at the right time. Um, Grey Knights have really got to improve on their communication here. They're just doing some, doing some very silly calls, or losing, losing their tank, and they're not being able to really engage. Um, the lead that they pulled up for themselves has actually now been bound, been lost, and Victoria Series have managed to um, get back to a two-level lead. 
We're gonna see, we're gonna see Grey Knights here trying to... Ooh, trying to make an agenda of this, however, Savannah's getting caught in the bushes by Uther, and then the rest of the Victoria Secret just coming in for the kill. Um, Malfurion also getting caught, trying to capture the division. Um, I it's just going terrible for the Grey Knights at the moment. There's... Lose, this, is, this is strong. So these two temples that um, Victoria's Secret are going to grab right now, because there is no way that the Grey Knights can take this. Um, now, right now, they... Pedro and Big Nose have got to start soaking lanes, trying to lessen that level gap there's um they're definitely not in a good position right now they, they've just got to get their levels back up there's no point in taking this engagement right now because they'll just die they just have to they unfortunately just to wear these lasers um however we do see Jaina and savannah rushing across the map are they going to try and jump kelthus he is by himself so they might be able to catch him um kelthus putting a little bit of damage putting down the phoenix putting down the gravity lap Oh, he might get caught himself. The Moshpit going out. However, uh, Uther is trapped in it. He won't be able to get away. Kelsus has fallen. Metamorphosis from Illidan. They're jumping on Tassadar now. Trying to take him out. He does the invulnerable. Comes out on the bubble. On Bubble King. He Oh, but Illidan dives him. But not looking like good. No, was not able to connect to Tassadar just now. Um, uh, Nubarak has joined the fight. Grey Knight. Grey Knight the jumping on Nubarak. Not a good decision to make. Um, he did also hold him in place for a little bit of damage from, I think the tower was there at one stage. Damage from tower, all the... Oh, ETC being caught as he tries to run away. That was just a, um... Just a slaughter fest for the Grey Knights. They looked really good. They looked like they that they were going to actually um, get a couple of kills just then, but the decision to attack um, Tassadar as opposed to Uther was probably a very big mistake on their part. Because Tassadar does have that escape with his, um with his E, sorry I can't remember the ability's name, but the E key, and um, yeah, so they should have really gone for Uther, who really only has the heals to save himself, not too much else he can really do, he does have the clan but, and the Divine Storm, but that's about it. Uh, Victoria's Secret will pick up the boss now, creating a lot of um, bottom lane pressure on Grey Knights, they're also going to pick up the Giants as well, again, just putting more pressure on that bottom lane. What we're probably going to see here is they're probably going to advance up either to the mid or top lane and try and... Just try and push. Oh no, actually he's instead. I was completely wrong. We're going to see him grab the other giants as well. Make a massive play in this bottom lane. And they're going to come along and they're going to push. I think, I think the Grey Knights might, sorry, the Victoria's Secret might. Oh my god, Jaina! Take it out instantly. No room, no time to react. Fly in and destroyed. Why it's so important at the um, level 16 to take that ice block on Jaina for when you get jumped in times like that. Are oh, we going to have another engagement and we'll have another hero fall? Illidan being taken out just by the sheer power that Victoria's Secret has now. The boss wailing on that keep. Gonna, again, that keep will now drop. This is a mess. I don't think the Grey Knights can do anything behind this. The boss, four sets of Siege Giant. A full Victoria's Secret team. No one low health. ETC diving in but getting taken out by everyone. A new rack borrowing in now, taking out Yeoman Sam on. I think that was Malfurion, and now Savannah's having to back up. But there's nothing, there's nothing the Grey Knights can do. But this is it. This is the tenth game in round one. Double, double win, double victory, going to Victoria's Secret. Grey Knights being pushed into the loser bracket. That was, uh, that was a dominating game by Victoria's Secret. Wow, what can I, what can I say about that? That was. That was just so dominating on Victorious Secrets' part. They just had such good pressure uh, pressure on the map. They took those team fights really hard. Um, they just knew where to be. You know, hardly dying any of the fights. I mean, they they had a huge, huge advantage throughout that entire game. Um, Grey Knights, you know, did, um, still did you know, still did a good effort, and they haven't been they're not knocked out of the tournament yet. They have been knocked into the losers bracket, so possibly, you know, we might see him come back, and we might see a rematch later on in the tournament. Obviously, to see how far Grey Knights can actually go through, see if they can claw their way back to the top. But uh, that's it for this uh, replay. I hope you guys have loved it. Please, uh, please provide feedback down below if you liked it. All right, um, I am learning, so you know, whether they say please be gentle, but you know. All feedback is good feedback, but please be gentle, guys. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, don't forget to follow the channel, or even better yet, come check me out on Twitch when I stream. Uh, Twitch.tv slash disconcur. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the future.